Before I begin today's reflection, I want to share something with you and ask for your honest feedback. Uh, we have been doing these daily devotions uh, from well before we even started our 66-week journey through the Bible. And today we begin, we only have five books left, so we're drawing to a close next month. And one of the questions I have is, uh, should we conclude these daily videos when we finish the Bible series in October, or uh, are there enough people who find value in these videos that you would like us to continue them? Most likely we would do so along the themes of whatever we are preaching on on a given Sunday. So we would love to hear from you, either via an email, a text message, a phone call, uh, and let us know. Uh, if you would like us to continue these daily videos or not. <laughs> and, and again, it's okay if the answer is yes or no. It's okay to draw to a close. Today we begin 1 John. It's a wonderful little book, uh, clearly reflecting what's called the Johannine tradition or the teaching of John's gospel. Uh, lots of lots of wonderful content. So much of it focused around love and truth. And our verse for the day is chapter 1, verse 8, which is about having the right attitude towards sin. Verse 8, it, it's if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Uh, one of the things that uh, we just all have to admit, and we don't like to admit it, is we are sinful human beings. We are not perfect. And uh, if you do think you're perfect, that alone is probably a sign that you're sinful, right? So we all have flaws. We all have gaps. We're all broken in different places. We're all um, uh, under construction. As I was driving to church today, I was driving by. Uh, there's a utility company working out on Route 6A, and there was a state trooper there, and you could see the guys working, and, and there was a sign that, you know, about construction and really, I, I, I kind of thought as I thought about this meditation today, you know, we all could walk around with one of those huge, clunky orange signs that you see on the road, you know, under construction, uh, because that's really true of all of us, right? Uh, we haven't arrived at being our very best self. We haven't arrived at perfection as a disciple of Christ. And so part of that is simply acknowledging um, I am sinful, so are you. We all have a common need for forgiveness. Uh, and it's important, John says, to confess our sins, to name them, to be able to verbalize and acknowledge, hey, this is where I messed up. And that's what verse 9 says. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Um, how would you feel if you never took a shower, like for the next month? Think about how you would feel. I mean, it'd be pretty gross. And I can tell you, nobody would want to be near you after a while, right? We all enjoy getting clean when we get physically dirty. And part of what First John is saying, spiritually, do the same thing. Because the one we worship and serve is faithful and just and will forgive you when you confess your sins.